In Playout 1, it's very, very simple to search for something in the Media Finder. It all starts with this search bar at the top here. So if you want to search for a particular item, a particular artist, you just type it in and you will be returned the results. So there's my two Lizzo songs. Let's type in the word Tom and you'll see that not only does Playout 1 return Tom Grennan, Joel Corey, Lionheart, and you'll notice on this particular search result, Tom Grennan was not the lead artist, but... Playout 1 will search anywhere in the artist, the title, the year, the notes field. Anywhere you can type some text, Playout 1 is going to search. So if we do the word love, you'll see that we get this result. Lizzo is back because the word love is in the title to be loved. So search box, very, very handy indeed. You can also search the year. So here's all the 2022 songs in our database. And if you want to, you can also search in this box for the UID as well. We also have some other search buttons on the top of the Media Finder to help making your search easier. The first one we're going to look at is this little R icon here. This is going to toggle the Media Finder to just show all your rotators. If you want to know how to build a rotator, please check our other video on that. Next along to the right hand side, we have this little tag icon and this is going to show you a category filter box. If you right click in the box, it will clear all the ticks and then you can use your left click to simply select a category to view. So here's all our B list. We can go back and bring in our A list as well so that we can see both our B and our A lists. And if we go back to the tag box, doing another right click will bring all the categories back into play. On the right hand side, there's also the same functionality for types. So you can again, right click to unselect all your types and then choose which types you want to view. So here's all my commercials in the type commercial. And if we go back to the type selection box, we can again, bring all of them back or none of them back. Moving along to the right hand side again, we've got this wonderful star icon and this is how we set up bookmarks. So what is a bookmark? Well, you know, in your web browser, you have a bookmark to save a particular web page. So you can call it back at a later date without having to type in the web address again. You may, for example, bookmark support.air.com, which is our support site. And you can do the same with the Media Finder. We can create custom bookmarks to show specific views of the Media Finder. I'm going to type Lizzo in here, all my Lizzo songs. I click the star icon and now we get this bookmark manager. I'm going to select a background color and we'll go with green and then we'll go turquoise. And once I click save on here, I'm going to have a new bookmark on our media finder. So let's click save. There it is. There's our little bookmark button Lizzo. So let's click everything and then we click Lizzo and then we are shown everything in the database with the word Lizzo in the title or artist. So that's how we made a bookmark from a search, but what about for specific categories? Well, like I showed you earlier, we can filter the media finder by a certain category list. So country in this respect, we click the little star icon to create a new bookmark. This time we need to double click into the bookmark to give it a name. So country songs, um, color wise, let's go with this lovely green and this red. And now we have a country songs bookmark. There's Lizzo. And there's our country songs. So that's how you make bookmarks in the Media Finder. If you need to edit bookmarks in the future, just right click on any of the bookmarks and you can access the bookmark manager. Lastly, when you found a item in the Media Finder, if you'd like to check the item's history, it's real simple to do. All you have to do is click the little eye here at the very top of the Media Finder and it's going to give you this graph. This is the audio history graph. And you'll see that the current item we've selected that is shown with a green asterisk and any other item by the same artist is shown with a yellow hashtag or a yellow pound sign, depending on which part of the world you are in. So this is a real nice, easy way just to quickly check and see, well, we want to insert this Megan Trainer song into our log, but did we play it yesterday? Are we playing it later today? Are we going to play it in the same hour tomorrow? That's why the audio history grid here is very, very useful for just doing that quick check on an item before you insert it into the log.